doing? Just sitting here looking good. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Totes. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and all those other good things, right? So today we are going to talk VP9 match. VP9 match. So I don't know if y'all heard of the VP9 match or if there's anybody has actually shot the VP9 match, but uh, we've put up quite a bit of rounds down range to it with it. So I think it's time to talk about it. So before we start, um, let's talk a little bit about the specs, right? So the VP9 match comes in a five and a half inch barrel. So this is definitely a long boy. Um, comes with four 20 round mags. So that's awesome. Four 20 round mags straight from the factory. You cannot beat that. It does have the, um, the little mag the little mag, the HK mag button. So it's not a mag button, it's actually the uh, little paddle, right? So it has the ma the paddle that HK usually has on their guns. It uh, They also do come with a button, so you can get it with the button. Um, it's optic ready, comes with um, suppressor height sights. I mean, I think it's an amazing gun. I have shot about 800 rounds through it so far um something like that and i like it i actually got it to run my run in side of some um competitions so i got it to be my competition gun try to see how i could do with it see what i liked about it and if any of you have ever shot the hk vp9 which i do have the regular size one too so i'm not gonna talk both of them i'm just gonna talk this one if you shot it shoots Similar to the rest of them, except for you know, of course, it has a longer, it has a longer slot. Um, there's not much I don't like about it. I will say, for it to be five and a half inches long, it is a little snappy. Now, that could be because I'm so used to shooting ported guns, 2011s, stuff like that. That could be a reason why I feel like it's a little snappy. All in all, though, it's a really good gun. I mean, you can also, you can do a lot of things to it, man. You can upgrade the trigger. You can, it has optic plates, so you can run any optic that you really feel like you want. You can get the optic plates from Primary Arms. You can get them from HK Store, all of those things. Um, you can change the you can change the trigger. You can do a lot of stuff to it. Uh, it ain't really proprietary, but if you go to the HK Parts Store, you can find a lot of stuff. Anyways, so let's shoot a little bit. I do think it is a tad bit snappy. I'm running some um, some lighter recoil ammo through it, which is why it might not look too snappy. I'm running uh, some that type of ammo through it, so it kind of keeps the snap down. Now, me being me, I have this little window here. I would probably think about porting it, but... Considering the fact that it is my competition gun, I want to be able to use this and carry optics. So I probably wouldn't port it. I've been on the fence back and forth thinking about it. So I might not do that, right? So I might not port it for that reason. I am going to stipple it. Now, HK has some pretty good grips. Now, it does come with all the grip panels, right? So you can get, it comes with three different sets. You know, small, medium, large. It has all those. You can change those out. I think I'm going to get it stippled, though, because this is still not, you know, it's still not super grippy. Now, it's okay, and it works. Oh. Now, it's okay, and it works, but I would much rather have the stipple job so that I have a lot more grip. So, it is. It still has a little grip on it, and it works, but I'm going to go ahead and stipple it and get that done better. Um, other than that, there's not many things I don't like about it. I think if you shoot the VP9 or you like the VP9, you're going to like this, right? It is long, though, so some people may not like that, which is why it's meant literally for some of my um, USPSA matches or steel matches. I wouldn't dare carry it at all. Um, that's why I got the, the VP9, the regular one, so that I wouldn't have to carry it. 
other than that, it's very reliable. I have no complaints about that. I think the snappiness is my most complaint. And I mean, if you think about it, the gun is light. I mean, it's a very light gun. And it's, you know, with all the cuts in the slot, it ain't gonna lighten it up anyway. So it's gonna make it a little bit more snappy. Um, I think it may be high sprung. So I may look at adjusting my recoil system to see if I can lighten it up a little bit. No, I think it's pretty good, right? So you really can't beat it. So that's kind of a little bit about the VP9. Let's shoot it a little bit. Uh, we can talk a little bit more about it a little bit, but I, I do now. I do like shooting it though. I love shooting the gun. I get quite a few quite a few rounds through it often, so I'm not gonna complain there. But other than that, one of my favorite features too is it is fully ambidextrous. So I'm left-handed. That is a big deal for me, not for a lot of people, but for me, it is a big deal for a gun to be ambidextrous because it doesn't do anything but help me out, right? That's all it does. It helps me out. It doesn't do anything else but but that. So my slide stop is here. And it, I, honestly, my honestly my slide release, now, it's really in a perfect spot, honestly. It's, really, it's like really in a perfect spot. I think I wish a lot of gun manufacturers would look at that. This thing is like right in the perfect spot. Now, a lot of times when my slide locks and I change my mags or whatever it may be, sometimes I mess up the slide lock because I have my hand on top of it, comes back, and it doesn't lock back. That's my fault a lot of times. But that's also not a big deal either, right? It's not a big deal. Like, I can just, I can just keep my hand off of it and it'll be fine. Um, some people may not like the, 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 the drop, the little slide. Um, whatever it's called for the uh, magazine. A lot of people may not like the magazine release because of where it's at, which is why HK came out with the button, the mag button. So that definitely helps that in that area for people who are not, you know, interested in that. But other than that, I think the gun is awesome. I love it. I, lo I do love how long it is though, man. <laughs> I love how long it is. Um, watch this, look. Oh, that's perfect. You don't get that as a left-handed person often. You don't get that. I like that. But I do like the gun. I think I would love to see it something about try to get it weighted at the front. Keep it so snappy. I know they have some stuff out there, but this shit might be already too long. Um, so that's another reason why I have the flashlight on it, to try and give it a little bit more weight towards the front so it isn't so snappy. Um, and then using lighter recoil ammo does help, but... You know, I might look at the seeing, you know, getting something weighted put on the front of it so it is not so snappy because it does snap a little bit. And, you know, you think for it to be a five inch gun, it shouldn't be so snappy, but it is. And I think that's just the way it's built. I think it's high sprung. That may change the way, the way that it recalls and that may change the, um, you know, the snappiness too. So I'll look into that, but it's, it's so lightweight, man. I figured that's why it's so snappy. So I'm gonna have to look into that. I think that's my biggest gripe about it is going to be how snappy it is. Now it's light and that's great. But you know, some people look at doing um, matches and they have heavy guns. So I do run some 2011s too. And you know, of course they're not as snappy. They're ported, some of them are. So they're not as snappy. So you, you know, you're going back to a polymer gun and trying to run it. It is a little bit more snappy than what you've been shooting lately. But all in all, I like the gun. I think it's an amazing gun. I think it's it's very reliable. I mean, I had no issues so far. And I've ran hollow points through it. I've ran um, regular range ammo, 115. I'm running 147s now from Chubbies. So they're heavier rounds. Um, I've run a little bit of everything through it. And it's, it's eating everything. So I, I can't complain there. And I won't complain at all. But all in all, I do love the gun. I think there's some changes I'd make as far as the grip goes, as far as trying to get it weighted in the front so it's not so snappy. Um, the paddle for the mag release, I'm cool with. I've been running HK for a little bit, so it don't bother me at all. But all in all, I like the gun. I think if, if you're gonna run with it, you know, you may be okay with the snappiness. You may be okay with that, but it is light and it feels really good in your hand. I just got to be able to bring some of that snappiness out of it. So other than that, it's really about it about it. Um, 
look at HKs if you haven't already. Check out the VP9 line. I mean, they come VP9 SK, regular VP9, VP9L, and the VP9 match. So this is by far the longest HK on the market. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, guys, for coming to kick it with me. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys later. Daddy, what are you doing? Just sitting here looking good. <laughs>